What is up, everybody? ADS Play 101 here, and welcome to another overview in the Pokemon Unite public test server. Two weeks ago, we went over Armor Rogue. Last Thursday, we went over Darkrai. And this Thursday, September 5th, this is the third and final Pokemon in the new lineup of the next three, Psyduck, which is the one that I think a lot of people was anticipating and a lot of people were ready to see what exactly he was going to bring to Pokemon Unite. So let's go over his moves. Let's see his moves in action and let's see just how much of the hype is real with Psyduck. So Psyduck, he's a ranged special attack supporter, uh, which is good because we needed more supports. Um, so taking a look at his moves, his basic attacks, he does not have any boosted attacks, any boosted attacks at all. He just has regular basic attacks where he just does water gun, basically. Um, next, he has Swift Swim, which is his uh, passive. Uh, when the Pokemon is damaged by an opposing Pokemon, its movement speed is increased for a short time. When this effect goes on cooldown after it is triggered, when this Pokemon or nearby ally Pokemon take damage, the headache gauge increases. When the headache gauge is full, a mysterious power is triggered. Shoving nearby opposing Pokemon while the mysterious power is active, moves are boosted and their cooldowns are reduced. So he has a headache gauge underneath him. And that's when him or his nearby teammates uh take damage so that's kind of i could see if it was just him but that's kind of busted but we're going to get into that when we watch the moves uh his his first set of moves confusion the user releases a weak telekinetic force towards opposing pokemon dealing damage and leaving them unable to act while the mysterious power is active damage dealt to the opposing pokemon is increased then he has bubble beam has the user forcefully eject a spray of bubbles dealing damage to opposing Pokemon it hits and attaching three bubbles. When an ally Pokemon deal damage to opposing Pokemon that have bubbles attached, a bubble burst dealing damage and applying a slowing effect. While the mysterious power is active, the damage dealt when the bubble burst is increased. Up the upgrade leaves the opposing Pokemon unable to act when when all the bubbles attached to it have burst. And then they have Surf. Uh, has the user create a wave that is in has a user create a wave in the designated direction dealing damage and applying a slowing effect to opposing Pokemon it hits if opposing Pokemon hit by this move already have a slowing effect applied they are shoved the user can ride the wave for a short time and use basic attacks and moves while moving ally Pokemon who touch the wave have their movement speed increase if this move is used again, the user stops in place and creates another wave. While the mysterious power is active, the user will create two waves. The upgrade decreases the damage dealt by opposing Pokemon that are hit by this move. Wait, the upgrade decreases the damage dealt by... Okay, so basically it, it basically gives them a defense boost. It, it gives them a defense boost. Um, next, the second set of moves, right? We have Tail Whip. Has the user wag its tail dealing damage, applying a slowing effect and decreasing the special defense of the designated poke opposing Pokemon. While the mysterious power is active, the opposing Pokemon's special defense is decreased by a greater amount. Then we have Psychic. Has the user release a strong telekinetic force in the designated area dealing damage to the opposing Pokemon it hits and leaving them unable to act. The user continues to release a telekinetic force at the opposing Pokemon that took damage closest to the center of the area of effect. If this move is used again, the user pulls the opposing Pokemon receiving the telekinetic force in the designated direction. While the mysterious power is active, the user leaves the opposing Pokemon unable to act after pulling them. The upgrade decreases the special defense of opposing Pokemon hit by the telekinetic force. And then there's Disable. Has the user released electricity that limits the designated opposing Pokemon's moves while dealing damage and leaving them unable to act. The electricity spreads to nearby five times the nearby Pokemon five times. The electricity can only spread to the same Pokemon up to two times. Opposing Pokemon hit by the electricity will have their cooldown of their last move increased. If the opposing Pokemon has no move on cooldown, the cooldown of the next move 
it uses will be increased. When in effect to increase the moves cooldown is applied, a slowing effect is applied is also applied. While the mysterious power is active, the number of times the electricity spreads will increase and the upgrade increases the duration of what the, the, increases the duration that opposing Pokemon are left un, unable to act. My stuttering ass. Okay. And then his Unite move, full power Psy AA. <clears throat> that sounds like something that uh Psyduck will say. Has the user release a mysterious has the user release three mysterious psychic waves around itself, dealing damage and decreasing the damage dealt by opposing Pokemon they hit. Uh, after using this move, the user's headache gauge greatly increases as a consequence of unleashing its full power. So basically with his Unite move, he has a damaging AoE and it increases his passive. So again, he doesn't have any boosted attacks. That's, you know, he just has regular attacks. You know, he, he has a pretty good range uh, on his basic attack. So that's that's pretty good. Um, then he has Confusion. He just shoots a, a telekinetic force. And then with Tail Whip, it just hits him from a distance. It, it, he doesn't actually wag his tail. But, you know, it's basically a, um, a stun that weakens him. So that's Tail Whip and that's Confusion. When he gets hit by the wild Pokemon, his headache gauge doesn't increase. Like, his headache gauge doesn't increase. It's only when he gets hit by an opposing Pokemon or when allies he's nearby gets hit by opposing Pokemon. That's when his headache gauge starts to, uh, that's when his headache gauge starts to go up. We're actually going to start off with Bubble Beam and, and Psychic. We're going to start off with those two. So let me make it up to, make it up to War Turtle. So with his Bubble Beam, when he shoots it, Oh, damn. It leaves three bubbles on them. And you can just keep attacking. And each of those bubbles are going to burst. And do additional damage. Well, Psychic, when you hit him with it, it hits him and it, it puts a tether on him. Now, you can move around while that tether is attached. While that is attached, you can actually move around with them. So let me take the cooldowns off real quick so you can see. It does pull them in a direction. So you hit them with it. And you can press it again. Now that only works on opposing Pokemon. It doesn't work on wild Pokemon. If I try to use this on... Let me see. Where is... Uh, give me wild Pokemon... Only one of them. Yeah, like I don't get anything from that. So the the tether only it really only works, and it does pull them for a good bit back in the direction of. Uh, so that so in the right hands that's going to be a problem. Let me get him to attack again, because I actually want to show off the headache gauge, and then that's the headache gauge right there. That's the headache gauge while that's active. His bubbles do more damage. But when his headache gauge goes away, he does get uh, kind of like stunned. And he's not able to really do anything for a short period of time. So keep that in mind. And while he has this, it makes it a little stronger. It makes it a little stronger. Uh, unfortunately, they didn't give him his evolution. Because they wanted just to focus on Psyduck himself. Uh, Psyduck does not evolve into Golduck. Because um, I believe the reason for that is because Golduck is kind of built differently in the anime. He's built differently in the anime. And since they wanted to Psyduck to focus on being a supporter... They kind of used his gimmick in the anime of kind of like having this mysterious headache that gives him a power boost. They kind of used that as his passive. 
And Golduck wasn't really known for that. So Psyduck is kind of like his own character. Now they may have Golduck in the future, but Golduck is going to be his own separate character if that happens. We'll get Surf and Disable. Now with Disable, it increases the cooldowns. Who, who did I just let me? Mookie, appreciate the follow. Um, somebody else just followed me as well. Appreciate it. Uh, so now we have Disable. Now what Disable does is that it kind of shocks them. It increases the cooldown on whatever move that they have. And if they don't have a move on cooldown, the next move that they use gets an increased cooldown. Now when he sends out the Disable, it has this little electric... Uh, shock that kind of volleys between targets and it does damage between them see how it kind of bounces around so it's real it's real good for crowd control next we got the move that everybody's seen in the uh, in the trailer video which is surf he sends out a a wave and he he sends out a wave in the direction and he rides a wave. Now the whole time he's riding his wave, he can attack. He can attack that whole time that he's riding a wave. Now if he activates it again, he sends out a second one. Now when his headache gauge is activated, he sends out two waves. And he pushes them. He sends out two waves and he pushes them when, he, when his headache gauge is active. Now his Unite move increases his Headache Gauge, at, you know, by 50%. And he sends out like three Shock Waves that uh, reduces, the, it does damage and it reduces the damage that he takes while it's active. So let's do it again. Sim. Now, when he when he loses his headache gauge, he can't do anything for a short period of time. So you have to be mindful of that. So Psyduck it look, is, is looking like a very promising support character for Pokemon Unite. Uh, obviously, like the trick to using him is going to be utilizing his moves and really going on the offense when uh, when his headache gauge is full. Um, I think he's going to be a very strong Pokemon, but you're going to have to be mindful of his health because unless they messed up the stats on the public test server, his endurance is at one. And that's not good for any support character, in my opinion, because in many cases, supports kind of have to double as a tank for the lane that they're in. So you may have to use some items to increase his health or use a boost emblem page to get his health up. But um, and maybe some defense item as well, uh, items as well, because um, he has to get hit. He has to get hit in order for his headache gauge to fill up or his nearby allies has to get hit uh, in order for his uh, headache gauge to increase. And um, so that's going to be like the main trick to use them, having good health, good defense and knowing when to go on the offense when his headache gauge is um, is active. So. I think he's a very strong support character. Uh, I think he's going to be out of, out, of, out of the three, out of Armor Rogue, Darkrai, and Psyduck. Psyduck and Darkrai are the main two that kind of get me excited the most because um, of the potential that they have, and I can't wait to see them in an actual match. But um, of course, you know this is a test server version, and the main game uh, version of Psyduck may be different, so keep that in mind. So that was my quick overview of Psyduck. If you guys have any questions about Psyduck or any other characters that I did an overview on, feel free to ask me in the comments. Feel free to ask me when I'm live, whatever. But until next time, thank you guys for watching. Peace, and I will see you on Aos Island.